Before this video start, I just want to let you know that this is not a tutorial video. This is just a video of me trying to get a compact flash put into these and it gone wrong for a while and it, it got it right but if you want to watch this video um you can just go ahead you can just watch it so i got this ipod mini right here and this drive is dead so i'm going to replace this with a compact flash card so this one's from sandisk i got the 64 gig because why not and i took about this thing like a few weeks ago all right so the explanation that i did right here is horrible so i'm gonna just make it on this one so you might wondering why it was already taken apart in that part <laughs> well if if i trying to take apart again like trying to take out like this piece right here and the bottom it was so hard to take take out so i might as well just don't put it back just leave it there like until that compact flash arrives and you can see like there's some shave right here i can see it but right here and yeah that's the reason why i didn't put it back so flash mode time so this is gonna be easy i gotta get my micro fiber cloth all right i'm going to put this right here here's the original drive which is the 4 gig Hitachi micro drive and it's very old. I'm actually going, actually going to take out this double thing. Just why not? So I'm going to take this out. So this goes here. You probably don't even need this if you like don't really need but I just want to put it back because why not? So here's a card, 64 gig. Yeah, I forgot to take a thumbnails. And I think I'm going to take a thumbnail first. Hang on. Alright, so I took one. Just peel this one off. Just gotta hear the sound. Oops, gone wrong. I think I'm just taking another thumbnail. Alright, I'm done with some thumbnails. Put this back in. This thing is so hard to take, take out. I don't know why. Oh my god, look at this. This thing feels heavy and this thing is just 4 gigabyte. And this thing is 64. So he's back. And they use this kind of connector which I forgot what this call, so I might as well just put it right here. So this will just throw away work. So this is in. Right? Which I want to keep these if I can. Alright, I think I seem to got it work. Like this. So the pin, USB C plug. Forgot the battery. The battery go first. So yeah, this is kind of like short part. This thing's supposed to be turn it on. Maybe I should plug it in. Please go. Hey, I got it work. So, okay. yep. Here we go, showed up 64 gig, get started. Um, I need to restore. Restore. Because I need to like make everything fresh. Wow, that's fast. 3 megabyte. Error. Huh. I'm probably just gonna use the command shift. iPod. No. Mini. This, this, let's go. Come on, you can do it. Disk utility. All right, so MS DOS, sex drive erase, Evans, iPod, mini, 
Reckless Extended Journal. Oh, it failed. So, no. I thought. Oh, I should go to this mode. That makes more sense. So, disconnect. Hopefully, it just went to this mode. I don't think this gonna fit. Oh no, the sim doesn't want to fit. I guess maybe I don't need this. Hopefully I didn't kill the thing. Corrupt it. Yes. Restore. This will be safe. Just put a screw just to see it coming off. One. Hey, restore. Alright. It needs a power source. You're supposed to use a more plug. But I use my berry pack. I mean, at least it works. That's the thing. Look at the progress bar right here. I don't know if you can see it, but. Hey. That's good. So, we're going to put in the screws. Hey, it works. Okay, let's turn on the backlight. I've got this. I haven't used this thing for like weeks. So, drop this into my MacBook. I'm going to sync some songs in it, which the this thing with us. This thing will fit because I want to keep these. Oh wait, it can! Wow. So it shows here sync your iPod. Wow. It shows the Nano and the other iPods, but I'm not sure which gen is this touch, but it didn't show the classic, the 6th gen classic or 7th gen, whatever you want to call it, but I call it 7th gen anyway. Let's hit click start. I'm going to sync some songs here. Mike as well as podcast, um, all. Um, Ambot podcast by Max Bowser. You guys should check it out. And boom, it worked. Well, you might wondering why why did I got this compact flash inside those adapters? Well, I'm so confident that this card will work with this because I saw a huge Jeffries video. He was throwing one of these, and it works fine. And I don't get those cheap adapter because those are not reliable at all. And hey, it seems to be done. Wait, did I wait? Did I disconnect or something? I don't know. Let's just see. So, plug, uh, backlight. Aha! So, I'm going to put this back in. Alright! It worked! Let's see the headphone jack. Where's my ear pods? Guys, wanna play some Scarlet Fire? Because. Dang pod.
All right, it worked. Good. So we need a new adhesive, which I don't think the bottle needs a bit because it, it just holds with clamps. Well, I think it's like so like shave off. I don't care. Uh, I think I better take that outside tape. Hang on. Since I have like a big chunk. Um, I'm going to put maybe like a few here. Oh my god, this thing is so sticky. I think one will be enough. Might as well put on this side because why not? Oh my god, this thing is so sticky. Ew, 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 ew. So I can't lock it because I forgot. I think I need a new tweezers. This tweezers is like from Tiny Tiny. Wow. First. And right now it's 2022 by the time I make this video. Mm -hmm. Looks great. So clean it a bit. Yeah, it didn't shake. That's good. Now we need do we need one for the bottom? Nah. I would recommend yes, but this is my input, so I don't care. Yeah, I just hold with clips. And yeah, it works now. So, gonna deal with all this stuff. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Follow all my socials, The Evan Yo. And thanks for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Bye. This video literally edited entirely on iMovie for Mac. I actually never edit a a video on iMovie for Mac before. I only edit on iPhones like couple times and that's it. And I searched to video pad and now I got this MacBook Pro. And I trying iMovie because I never edit before. So I think this will be the first video that I edit. And the last, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the next video will be edited on Final Cut Pro.